There are some key issues affecting financial services recruitment at this moment in time in and around the regulatory change. Um, initially, the need for capital adequacy reporting, stress testing, uh, ICAP or CCAR reporting is creating a lot of opportunities for candidates with the requisite skills. Secondly, in and around the ability to manage data, um, we are seeing opportunities for business analysts, uh, people with specific technology skills, and even opportunities within reference and or static data. And the third big area at this moment in time, you know, it really stems around some of the high profile, large scale issues around anti-money laundering procedures. So candidates with anti-money laundering slash know your customer or anti-money laundering slash Bank Secrecy Act skills uh, are being in demand within their requisite markets. Eighty-eight percent of financial services executives told us they're finding it hard to manage regulatory change. One of the key issues they have today is how they manage the relationships with stakeholders, whether they be the regulators, third-party consultancies, or identifying the requisite talent within their organisation to help manage through this change. 66% of financial services executives are reporting an increase in workload due to regulatory change. The workload stems from initially having to identify and interpret the requirements needed, and then once a plan has been laid out and executed, there's been a real shift in culture to now have to show the regulators you know, real evidence that this change has taken place. Initially, companies are looking internally to see whether they have the required talent to help them through this regulatory change. Approximately one third of companies told us they will need to go externally to identify interim or contract staff, and approximately a quarter will look to bring in new permanent employees. The demand for regulatory talent has been outstripping supply. Financial services institutions need to identify candidates that can build strong stakeholder relationships, have proven project management skills, and can show previous evidence of interpreting regulatory requirements. Many of the companies that we are working with are now looking to identify transferable skills and or evidence of being able to implement change, albeit all around different regulatory processes within their previous roles. This is allowing the company to take on the right type of skill set and apply it to their current issues and problems. So we are seeing opportunities exist for candidates within revenue generating roles. However, these are being far more specific than we've ever seen in the past and are very specific to the type of institution in which we're recruiting for. What we are seeing is that companies are looking to invest more into their middle and back office areas, finance areas, risk and compliance areas, over and above investing in revenue generating positions. Financial services executives and institutions are realising that they need to invest in their support functions. Responding to the regulatory changes required is resulting in investment in project management office roles, project management and change management roles, and business analyst roles.